Okay, in this section, I'm going to talk about um, stagnation temperature um, of a fluid and how you can uh, calculate that as well. So before I talk about um, stagnation temperature, I'm just going to talk about stagnation pressure because um, kind of the, the two are analogous. So if you remember from Bernoulli's principle, uh, you had this term. So you had P plus uh, rho u squared over 2 plus rho gz equals a constant for an, um, any point in the fluid. But if you remember, each of these terms um, are kind of uh, represent a different pr pressure and the sum of them is a constant throughout the fluid. So the first term there, that's your static pressure. And the second term was the dynamic um, pressure. And those two um, combined, it gives you the stagnation pressure. And if you add in the, the pressure due to um, the potential of the fluid, um, rho, G, rho GZ, then that gives you the total pressure. So just to kind of illustrate this here, so you've probably seen this for um, a Venturi. So if you, the fluid's flown through here, left to right, or right to left in this example, it doesn't matter. Then if we consider these um, manometers we got at A, B, and C, then at A, um, the static pressure is um, greater than B. We can see that because of the, um, the, different in the, um, the difference in the levels of the fluid. However, the dynamic pressure at B is greater than that at A um, because of fluids flowing faster because it's been um, funneled down through this constriction. Um, so it's going faster through here. Um, so that's faster through there. So the dynamic pressure is higher. But um, whether at A or B, the stagnation pressure has got to be the same. Okay, So the change in static pressure is equal to the change in dynamic pressure from A to B and, and vice versa. So the reason I say that is because um, that's kind of related to the stagnation temperature as well. So in the same way that in a fluid, um, the pressure, the static pressure of the fluid is the stagnation, is the same as stagnation pressure once it's been brought to rest. The stagnation temperature is the temperature of the fluid that would be attained if the fluid were brought to rest. So it's kind of made up in in of two terms in the same way that um, the stagnation um, pressure is. So it can be shown, and again, I'm not going to derive this. Um, I suggest you go and look at a fluids textbook if you want to see the derivation of this. But ultimately, this comes from, this is derived from the stagnation enthalpy. But you can see that the... Um, Cp, so T0 is our stagnation temperature, is equal to Cpt plus um, U squared, so um, the velocity of our fluid squared, divided by 2. So you can see that the stagnation temperature is higher um, than the, the, um, the actual temp measure temperature by um, U squared um, over 2 Cp. And the only way you really kind of can kind of measure the actual um, uh, static pressure is if you had, um, or oh, sorry, stagnation temperature, is if you had a thermometer that was moving at the same velocity as the fluid. So you'd basically lose this term that would come to zero and then you'd kind of get the true um, stagnation temperature there. So... Um, this one, I, I've shown you this relationship because, um, as I say, the um, stagnation temperature is, uh, is um, related to the velocity. Um, so I've shown it to you in this form, and this is a form that um be using throughout um, the rest of this um, lecture and also in the examples. So the stagnation temperature is equal to the temperature of the, um, of the fluid. Um, and then times this function, which is a, a function of gamma and um, the mass, the Mach number. And again, um, I'm not going to derive this for you. Um, I don't think it's necessarily important for as long as you understand what the stagnation temperature is and how to use it. Um, I do suggest you, you go and um, find this derivation. It's always useful to know where these things come from, but um, I won't be... Um, this won't form part of the assignment. 
um, more your understanding of how to use these equations and uh, exactly where they come from. And just to kind of show that the two are analogous, um, the stagnation pressure can be shown in a similar form. So the stagnation pressure is equal to the pressure times this function to gamma over gamma minus one. Um, and you notice that's kind of the, the same relationship you get between temperature and pressure um, is a function of the, the, the exponent of gamma.